Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Mercy, Lord have 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 mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Be pleased, O God, to deliver me, O Lord. Make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and confusion who seek my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who desire to hurt me. Let those who say, aha, aha, turn back because of their shame. Let all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. But I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help. And my deliverer, O oh Lord, do not delay. Passion, forgive me. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me. I fall down before you, O Jesus, imploring your mercy, for I have sinned against you. Take now from me the heavy burden of sin, and in your mercy grant me tears of repentance. Have mercy on me, O God. time for repentance and I come to you my creator take from me the heavy burden of sin and in your compassion forgive me have mercy on me, oh God, have mercy on me. having wasted my soul in evil habits I am empty of the fruits of virtue and in great hunger therefore I cry to you my merciful father watch over me and have mercy on me Holy In submitting to the laws of Christ, you renounce all uncontrollable lust and came to him, piously adopting every virtue. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Trinity above all essence and worship as one God, take from me the heavy burden of sin and since you are compassionate, grant me tears of repentance. Now and ever and unto Ages of ages, amen. Leotokas, hope and protection. 
protection of those who sing to you. Take from me the heavy burden of sin, and as our pure lady, accept me as I repent. tremble, for you too have polluted your flesh and defiled your inward being. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You, my soul, desire to build a tower as a fortress for your lusts, as the people of Babel erected a tower to increase their strength. But as he, as he did with them, so will the Creator also overthrow your desires and shatter all your plans. Have mercy on me, O God. How well have we imitated those first murderers, Cain and Lamech? Through the desires of the flesh I have killed my soul, as did Lamech a man, and my mind as once he did a young man. I have also murdered my body, as did Cain his brother. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Long ago the Lord rained burning sulfur on the city of Sodom to consume its flagrant wickedness. But you, O oh my soul, have kindled within yourself the fires of hell, which now are able about to consume you. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. I am wounded, I am pierced. See how the enemy's arrows have sunk into my soul and body. See the bruises, the sores, the mutilations, which cause me to cry out, the wounds resulting from my own passions. Holy As you sank into the depths of sin, you reached out to our merciful God, and as he once saved Peter on the water, he caught you, desiring in his love for mankind your conversion. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O God of all, I sing to you as one, yet three in person, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages. Theotokos, virgin alone, praised everywhere. Pray fervently that we may be saved. Egyptian long ago, you, my soul, are by your own choice a slave, and have given birth to a new Ishmael, your own stubbornness. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. You know, my soul of Jacob's ladder, which appeared from earth to heaven, why have you not held fast to the secure rung of piety? Imitate Melchizedek, that image of the royal and priestly life of Christ. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Do not become a pillar of salt, O my soul, by turning back to what you have left behind. Let the destruction of Sodom fill you with fear, and save yourself in the town of Zoar. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. Master, do not reject the prayers of those who praise you, but in your love for mankind, be merciful and grant forgiveness to all who ask in faith. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. One simple and uncreated nature without a beginning, whom we praise as God in Trinity, save us who in faith worship your power. Now and ever and unto seed you gave birth in time to the timeless son of the father, O Theotokos, and, O strange wonder, you nourished him at your breast while remaining a virgin. The prophet
of pain and wickedness, but accept me, O Lord, in repentance, and allow me to behold your presence. May the enemy never possess me. May I never fall prey to him. O Savior, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, O Lord, have mercy on me. Job, once crowned and regally, regally attired, abounding in both wealth and virtue, found himself suddenly a beggar, cut off from all his riches in the glory of his kingdom. deemed more righteous and blameless than anyone else alive, did not escape the traps of the deceiver. So what will you do, O my sin-loving soul, if something unexpected befalls you? Like the Pharisee, I am boastful and my heart is cold. My life I have passed in vanity. O oh, my merciful and righteous judge, do not condemn me with him, but grant me the tax collector's humility and accept me. Have mercy on me, O oh God, have mercy on me. I know, O oh merciful Lord, that I have sinned and corrupted the temple of my soul, but accept me in repentance and allow me to behold your presence. May the enemy never possess me. May I never fall prey to him. O oh, Savior, have mercy on me. I have become an idol to myself, and in passions have I injured my soul. But accept me now in repentance, O merciful Lord, and allow me to behold your presence. May the enemy never possess me. May I never fall prey to him. O Savior, have mercy on me. I have never listened to your words, nor obeyed your commands, O lawgiver, but accept me in repentance and allow me to behold your presence. May the enemy never possess me. May I never fall prey to him. O Savior, have mercy on me. The depths of sin in which you were led were unable to hold you captive. After careful reasoning, you returned to safety in God through repentance, and indeed you attained the heights of virtue beyond ex all expectation of the angels. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I confess you as one God in Trinity, a single essence, unconfused in persons, co-enthroned and co-ruling, and I sing to you, Holy, 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. As a virgin you gave birth, and a virgin you remain by nature, your womb giving birth painlessly. For he who was born of you renewed the laws of nature, since when God wills, its order is overthrown. crippled woman, O oh my powerless soul, come and fall down at Jesus' feet, and allow him to heal you, that your path may lead toward God. As a deep well of living water, O Lord, pour upon me the rivers of life, which flow from your wounds. Let me, like the, let me, like the Samaritan woman, drink of them, that I may thirst no more. Let my tears, O Lord and Master, be for me a pool of Siloam in which to wash my spiritual senses that I may see you, the light which existed before time began. Holy Blessed Mary, with unmatched fervor, you long to venerate the tree of life until your desire was granted. Help us now to be made worthy of attaining the heavenly glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify.
glorify you, O Trinity, one in essence, and we praise and adore you forever, singing Holy, 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. the creator of all things became incarnate for you, O pure virgin mother, uniting our human nature to himself. which is John, your forerunner and baptizer, to find and renew that which is created in your image. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy on me. As Joshua subdued Amalek and the lion given and give nights, arise, O my soul, and subdue the weakness of your flesh, subduing everything which leads your mind astray. Holy constant stream of tears fell from your eyes, extinguishing the flames of lust while setting your soul afire with love of God. Grant me, your servant, this grace of tears. Holy Mother Mary, grace of God for us. Because you lived a heavenly life on earth, you were able to ignore the temptations of this world. Therefore, help those who praise you, that we may also be freed from temptations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I am the Trinity, simple and undivided in essence, yet divided in persons. I am also the unity, united in nature, says God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto Your womb, O Theotokos, held God, who for our sakes took human form. Implore him, the creator of all, that through your prayers we may be justified. to my life, but what Isaiah will help me, except the God of all. I fall down before you, O Lord, offering my words as if they were tears, for no less than the prostitute have I sinned. Transgressed as no one else on earth, but take pity on your creature and restore to me your mercy. I have distorted your image, O Savior, and broken your commands. The beauty of my soul has been spoiled as its light extingu extinguished by my sins. But have pity on me, and in David's words, give me again the joy that comes from your salvation. Have mercy on me, O God. 
Turn, repent, uncover what is hidden. Say to God who knows all things, You are my only Savior and know my terrible secrets. Yet in David's words, be merciful to me according to your constant love. Oh, you are the very grace of God for us. You cried to the pure mother of God and were freed from the deadly grip of sin, putting Satan your temper to shame. Grant also to me your servant aid in times of trouble. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. God, whom you love and for whom you long, whose path you followed, O Mother, found you and granted you repentance in his compassion. Pray, therefore, that we may be freed from sin and adversity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Simple and undivided, one in essence and nature, light and lights, one holy and three holies, God is praised in Trinity. So sing praises to Him, O my soul, and glorify the life and lives of the God of all. We praise you, we bless and venerate you, O Mother of God, for from the undivided Trinity you brought forth the only Son of God and restored to us on earth the heavenly realms. Who broke her priceless jar of myrrh to anoint your head, O Savior, so I weep before you with a broken and contrite heart. Hear my prayer, forgive, and have mercy on me. I am the first and greatest of sinners, O patient Savior, but I cry to you in fear and love. Though I have sinned against you alone and done evil in your sight, nevertheless have mercy on me. Spare me, O my Savior, for I am the work of your own hands. Seek me, your lost sheep, O good shepherd, and deliver me from the laws of the wolf, the jaws of the wolf, including me as a lamb in your royal fold. Most merciful Christ, when you ascend your dread tribunal as judge, all of creation will be overcome with fear and tremble, for on that day your glory will be revealed as a blazing fire. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. The mother of the never-setting sun enlightened you and freed you from the darkness of your passions. Since now you rejoice in the grace of the Spirit, O Mary, illumine all who praise you in faith. Zosimus the elder marveled, meeting you, O Mother, for in you he saw an earthly angel filled with all he praises Christ forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O Eternal Father, co eternal Son, and gracious Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, O Father of the Divine Word, Word of the Eternal Father and Life Creating Spirit, Trinity in Unity, have mercy on us. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O pure Virgin, the flesh of Emmanuel was formed within your womb as a robe of royal crimson is spun from scarlet silk. We proclaim you to be truly the Mother of our God. By Son of David, 
who by your word cured a man possessed by a demon. Let me also hear your compassionate promise to the thief. You will be with me in paradise when I return in my glory. Two thieves were crucified beside you, O Christ. The one abused you while the other confessed you to be God. O most merciful Lord, open to me the doors of your glorious kingdom, as you did to the believing thief. Creation shook, beholding your crucifixion, O Jesus. The mountains and rocks split in fear. The earth quaked and hell surrendered, surrendered its prisoners. The sky grew dark at midday, seeing you nailed in the flesh to a cross. Savior, do not require of me in my weakness fruits, which will show that I have changed my ways. Grant rather that finding contrition of heart and poverty in spirit, I may offer these to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Since you know me, O my judge, look on me in compassion when you come to judge the whole world. Spare and have mercy on me, though I have sinned more than any other. came the flesh and lived as though bodiless, crossing the river Jordan unhampered by your body. Your wondrous life is an amazement to the ranks, both of angels and men. Holy Mother Mary, pray to God for us. Oh, Venerable Mother, intercede with the Creator that we who sing your praises may be delivered from the afflictions and sorrows which surround us that being delivered from temptation, we may unceasingly glorify the Lord who has glorified you. Holy Father, Andrew, bring to God for us. Oh, Honorable Andrew, thrice blessed Father and Pastor of Crete, never cease praying to God for those who sing your praises, that he may deliver from anger, sorrow, corruption, and countless sins, all of us who faithfully honor your memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We glorify the Father, we exalt the Son, we worship the Holy Spirit, the indivisible Trinity who exists as one, the light and lights, the life and lives, who grants light and life to the ends of the world. Mother of God, preserve your people, for through you we are kept faithful, strengthened, and made able to overcome every temptation, trial, and tribulation. Hear me when I call, O God of right, my righteousness. You have relieved me of my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long, O you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you, you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But now that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly, the Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Meditate with your heart on your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. We have put gladness in my heart more than in the season that their grain and wine increased. I will both lie down in peace and sleep for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safety. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, nor chasten me in your hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O Lord, for I am weak. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also was greatly troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Return, O Lord, deliver me. O save me for your mercy's sake, for in death there is no remembrance of you. In the grave, who will give you thanks? I am weary with my groaning. All night I make my bed swim. I drench my couch with my tears. My eyes wastes away because of my grief. It grows old because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all my enemies be ashamed and greatly troubled. 
Let them turn back and be ashamed suddenly. How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long will my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Enlighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Lest my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Let those who trouble me rejoice when I am moved. But I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord because the Lord has dealt bountifully with me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, O my God. I trust in you. Let me not be put. Let me not be ashamed. Let my enemies triumph. No, let not my enemies triumph over me. Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who dealt treacherously without cause. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from old. Do not remember the sins of my youth nor my transgressions. According to your mercy, remember me for your goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore he teaches sinners in the way. The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. To such as keep his covenant and his testimonies, for your name's sake, O Lord, pardon my iniquities, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way he chooses. He himself shall dwell in prosperity, and his descendants shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. My eyes are ever towards the Lord. He shall pluck my feet out of the net. Turn yourself to me, and have mercy on me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart have enlarged. Bring me out of my distresses. Look at my affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins. Consider my enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with cruel hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in you. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait for you. Redeem Israel, O God, out of all their troubles. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, a God of truth. I have hated those who regard useless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will gladly be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. You have known my soul in adversities. You have not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a wide place. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye wastes away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity, and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, but especially among my neighbors. And I am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel, for I hear the slander of many. Fear is on every side. While they take counsel against me, they scheme to take my life away. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord, I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face shine upon your servants. Save me, your Save me for your mercy's sake. Do not let them be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon you. Let the wicked be ashamed. Let them be silent in the grave. 
Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak insolent things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust in you in the presence of the sons of men. You shall hide them in a secret place of your presence from the plots of man. You shall keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he has shown me his marvelous kindness in a strong city. For I said in my haste, I am cut off from my eye before your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard my, the voice of my supplications when I cried out to you. O oh, love the Lord, all you saints, for the Lord preserves the faith and fully repays the proud person. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all you who hope in the Lord. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of terror by night, nor by the arrow that flies by the day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent shall you trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he is no, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. God is with us. Understand, all ye nations, and submit yourselves, for God is with us. Submit yourselves, you mighty ones, even if your strength returns, you shall be overthrown once more. For Take counsel together if you wish, but it will come to nothing. Make plans if you wish, but they will never stand, even among yourselves. We do not fear your threats, nor are we troubled. For for the Lord our God is holy, and him we will fear. If I trust in him, he will be my sanctification. I will wait for him, and he will save me. For God is with us. Behold, I and the children whom God has given me are signed in portents in Israel from the Lord of hosts. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. To those who dwell in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and of his peace there shall be no end. shall be called the angel of great counsel, wonderful counselor, mighty God, eternal ruler, prince of peace, the father of the age to come. Lord God is with us. Glory to the 
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. day is now over, Lord, I thank you. Let this evening and night pass without sin, O Savior, and save me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The day is now over, Master, I praise you. Let this evening and night pass undisturbed, O Savior, and save me. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The day is now over, Holy One, I hymn you. Let this evening and night pass without trouble, O Savior, and save me. The incorporeal cherubim glorify you with unceasing praise. The seraphim, the six-winged angels, exalt you with tireless voices. And all the armies of angels praise you with the thrice holy hymn, because you are before all else. O Father, and your Son, like yourself, is without beginning. By breathing forth the spirit of like life equal in honor to you, you make manifest the indivisibility of the Trinity. Virgin, most holy mother of God, and you, eyewitnessing of the Lord, and his servants intercede for us. All the choir of the prophets and martyrs who are enjoying eternal life intercede for us, intercede for us all, intercede for all of us unceasingly, for we are all in distress, that escaping from the terrors of evil, we may sing the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 O Christ, Holy Lord, have mercy on us and save us. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and, earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in, and in one, one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things are made who for us men and for our salvation came, came down, down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. And he was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again in glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. O oh, all holy sovereign lady Theotokos, pray for us sinners. Prophet and forerunner and Baptist of our Lord Jesus Christ, pray for us sinners. O Holy Prophet and forerunner and Baptist of our Lord Jesus Christ, pray for us sinners. O Holy Glorious Apostles, Prophets and Martyrs and all saints, pray for us sinners. O Holy Glorious Apostles, Prophets and Martyrs and all saints, pray for us sinners. Reverend and God-fearing fathers, pastors, and ecumenical teachers, pray for us sinners. Oh, Reverend and God-fearing fathers, pastors, and ecumenical teachers, pray for us sinners. Oh, Venerable Father Herman, pray for us sinners. Oh, Venerable Father Herman, pray for us sinners. Oh, Invincible and Ineffable and Divine power of the honorable and life-giving cross, do not forsake us sinners. O invisible and ineffable and divine power of the honorable and life-giving cross, do not forsake us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners and have mercy on us. O God, cleanse us sinners and have mercy on us.
Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, one have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Give ear unto me, O Lord my God. the Son and to the Holy Spirit. to ages of ages. Amen. Thank you. 
Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word, a true Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Preserved us this day from the arrows that fly in broad daylight, so now keep us safe from everything that lurks about in the darkness of night. To you we raise our hands in prayer, accept this as our evening sacrifice, count us worthy of sleep, free of sin, sheltered from all evil, keep far from us all the fearful disturbances inspired by the powers of darkness. Fill our souls with reverence and our minds with diligence that we may come to realize the awesome justice of your divine decrees. Pierce us through with reverence for you. Still our passions that in the quiet of the night your instructions may penetrate us with your light. Spare us in decent dreams, all improper desires. Awaken us in time for prayer, strong in faith and ready to observe all you have taught us. Through the loving kindness of your only Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to your loving kindness, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you may be found just when you speak and blameless when you judge. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you will make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me by your generous Spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be converted to you. Deliver me from the guilt of bloodshed, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it. You do not delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. These, O God, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure to Zion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then you shall be pleased with sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then they shall offer bulls on your altar. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and let me cry, let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my trouble. Incline your ear to me in the day that I call. Answer me speedily, for my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like a hearth. My heart is stricken and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of the sound of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican. In the wilderness, I am like an owl in the desert. I lie awake. I am like a sparrow alone on the housetop. 
My enemies reproach me all day long. Those who deride me swear an oath against me, for I have eaten ashes like bread and mingled my drink with weeping. Because of your indignation and your wrath, for you have lifted me up and cast me away, my days are like a shadow that lengthens, and I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, shall endure forever, and the remembrance of your name to all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the time set has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nations shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth, you glory, uh, earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in his glory, he shall regard the prayer of the destitute, and shall not despise their prayer. This will be written for the generation to come, that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven. The Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning for the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, and declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together, and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way, he shortened my days, and I said, O oh my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment, like a cloak. You will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, Abraham and Isaac, of Jacob and all their children, who made heaven and earth with all their splendid beauty, who set the limits of the sea with the word, who sank the depths and fixed it once and for all by the power of your awesome and sublime name, in your presence everything is filled with awe, all things quake and tremble in the face of your power. For the magnificence of your glory, your terrible loathing of evil, and the riches of your compassion are beyond our power to comprehend. You are the Lord Most High, tender-hearted and patient, ready to accept our atonement for all our wrongdoing. In the greatness of your mercy, you yourself, Lord, promise to show us the way to repentance and forgiveness to salvation. Never, Lord, did Abraham or Isaac or Jacob need repentance as we do. Our sins are beyond counting. They outnumber the very fish of the sea. We dare not raise our eyes to heaven, for our sins weigh heavily upon us. They are as heavy as iron chains, and we are near to despair. For we have been offensive not only by doing wrong, but by our stubborn refusal to please you, by multiplying one offense after another in complete indifference, yes, even defiance of your commandments. But now, Lord, we fall to our knees in our hearts, entreating you to pour forth your goodness upon us. We are guilty. We know we have done wrong. Who needs your mercy more than we? Forgive us, Lord, do not let us perish with our sins. Do not resent our wickedness forever. Do not condemn us to unending punishment. Though we do not deserve it, pour forth your mercy on us. For you are the God of repentant sinners. In your compassion save us, that we may sing your praises with all the powers of heaven. For all glory belongs to you, O Lord, unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. O God and Master, Father Almighty, only Son and Holy Spirit, O unique power and divinity, have mercy on me, a sinner, and in your omniscience, save me, your servant, unworthy as I am, for you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Hear my prayer, O Lord, give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness answer me, and in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for in your sight no one living is righteous. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has crushed my life to the ground, he has made me dwell in darkness like those who have been long dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is distressed. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all your works. I muse on the work of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longs for you like a thirsty land. Answer me speedily, O Lord. My spirit fails. Do not hide your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. 
Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning, for in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. In you I take shelter. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake, for your righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. In your mercy, cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill towards men. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you, we give thanks to you for your great glory. O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You that take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You that sit at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy on us, for you only are holy. You only are the Lord. You only, O Jesus Christ, are most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day I will give you, I will give thanks to you and praise your name forever and ever. Lord, you have been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Hear my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, I flee to you. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. For with you is the well of life, and in your light shall we see light. I continue your loving kindness to those who know you. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us daily without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified be your name forever. Amen. Let your merciful kindness, O Lord, be upon us as we put our trust in you. Blessed are you, O teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. O Lord. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you belong worship, to you belong praise, to you belong glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
good God, so very rich in patience and mercy, who are adored and praised at all times and in every moment in heaven and on earth. You love the just and spare the sinner, inviting all to salvation with the promise of the good things to come. O Lord, accept our prayer at this time and direct our lives according to your commandments. Sanctify our souls and bodies, set straight our reasoning, purify and, so and sober our understanding, deliver us from every affliction, from every evil and illness. Surround us with your holy angels as with a rampart that guided and protected by their defense. We may reach unity in faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, you gave birth to God, the word of truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Lord, Master, bless. God, be bountiful unto us and bless us. May he make the light of his countenance shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, deliver me from this spirit of sloth, despair, loss of power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to your servant. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord and Master of my life, deliver me from the spirit of sloth, despair, lust of power, and idle talk. Give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to serve. Yes, O Lord our King, grant me to see my own transgressions, and not to judge my brother, for you are blessed and the ages. O Lady, Bride of God, virginal, pure, immaculate, blameless, without stain or disgrace, who through your birth giving united God the Word with our human nature and established a link between our fallen state and the things of heaven. O you, only hope of the hopeless, help of the oppressed, ready protection of those who flee to you and refuge of all Christians, do not despise me, who am a wretched sinner, who have defiled myself with unclean thoughts, words, and deeds, and in my slothfulness have become a slave to the passions of life. Since you are the mother of God, who is the lover of mankind, have mercy, have compassion on me, a sinner and a prodigal son. Accept, me this, day, accept this day my prayer from my impure lips, and with the power of your maternity, beg your son, my Lord and my God, that he may open for me the depths of his loving kindness, forgive my countless sins, convert me to true repentance, and make me faithful to his commands. O oh, you who are compassionate, be my constant companion. In this present life, be with me as an intercessor, as a powerful help to turn away the assaults of my enemies and to guide me to salvation. At the hour of my death, be with me to embrace my poor soul and to keep away the dreadful sight of the wicked devils. On the terrible day of judgment, deliver me from eternal punishment and make me an heir of your Son's glory. Through the grace and love for mankind of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to him and to his eternal Father, and to his all holy good and life-giving spirit, we send up glory, honor, and worship, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Now that we lie down 
to sleep, grant us, O Master, the repose of our soul and body. Preserve us against the dark slumber of sin and against any impure satisfa satisfaction that roams around in the darkness of the night. Quiet the assaults of our passions. Arrest the darts that the evil one insidiously throws at us. Still the commotions of our flesh and calm all earthly and worldly feelings within us. Grant us, O Lord, a watchful mind, innocent thoughts, a sober heart, a gentle sleep, free from evil dreams. At the hour of prayer, wake us, strong in the practice of your commands, and never mindful of your desires. Give us the grace to sing your glory throughout the night, to praise, bless, and glorify your all honorable and majestic, magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. O oh, you, most glorious, ever-virginal, and blessed Mother of God, commend our prayers to your Son, our God, and entreat him to save our souls through your intercession. The Father is my hope, the Son my refuge, the Holy Spirit my protection. O oh, Holy Trinity, glory to you. Glory to you, O oh, Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. us. Be merciful to those who are merciful and grant our brethren and all those who belong to us the means of salvation and of eternal life. 
Visit those who are in infirmity and grant them healing. Direct those who are at sea. Be with those who are on land and in the air. Grant those who serve us and are merciful to us forgiveness of sins. And upon those who ask us to pray for them, have mercy according to your great mercy. Remember, O Lord, those of our fathers and our mothers, our brothers and our sisters who have fallen asleep before us. Grant them repose where the light of your countenance shines. Remember, O Lord, those who are in captivity and deliver them from every evil circumstance. Remember, O Lord, those who bear fruit and do good works in your holy churches. Grant them all the means of salvation and of eternal life. Remember us also, your sinful and wretched and unworthy servants. Lead us in the way of your commandments. Through the intercessions of your all-pure Mother, Our Lady, Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, and of all your saints. For you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of our holy fathers and mothers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen.